Japanese automakers Honda and Nissan have announced plans to join forces. Honda and Nissan announced on Monday that they have formally agreed to hold talks on a possible merger. Today the world is moving rapidly towards EVs, and this is believed to be the future. But on the other hand, Honda is doing something big behind the scenes which even China and Elon Musk are not aware of. Honda has created an engine that will shake the entire car market. While everyone is running after electric cars, Honda is making a big change, creating a beast that can perhaps change the game forever. Their CEO says that this is a complete revolution which will shake the entire EV world. What if Honda creates an engine that does not need petrol, does not need to be charged, and is even better than electric cars? It sounds great, right? Subscribe to the channel so that you are the first to get information about technology. Before we dive into how Honda flipped the electric vehicle EV world upside down, let's rewind a bit and meet the guy who started it all. Soichiro Honda. Forget fancy suits or corner offices. Soichiro was a hands-on dreamer, always covered in grease and tinkering with machines. Born in 1906, his dad was a blacksmith, so he grew up surrounded by tools, fixing bikes and playing with engines. Speed was his thing, and he had this wild belief that he could create something awesome. He didn't kick things off with flashy cars or motorcycles, though. Nope. His first gig was making piston rings, those little engine parts you'd barely notice. In 1937, he started a small company called Tokai Seiki to supply Toyota. It wasn't a glamorous life, and things got rough. World War II hit, his factory got bombed, and he had to rebuild from scratch. But here's the cool part. So Ichiro didn't quit. After the war, Japan was a mess. Gas was hard to come by, and people just needed a cheap way to zip around. So in 1946, Soichiro got clever. He slapped old military generator engines onto bicycles and boom, the first Honda motorcycle was born. It was scrappy, but it worked. Two years later in 1948, he officially launched the Honda Motor Company. From that rickety motorized bike, Honda took off like a rocket. Soon their motorcycles weren't just rolling, they were dominating. Honda bikes started winning races and breaking records proving to the world that Japan could build machines as tough and fast as anything from the West. Then came the cars. Honda didn't just slap wheels on a box. They built engines that roared with life, simple to use, speedy, and dependable. Driving a Honda wasn't just about getting somewhere, it was about having a blast along the way. While everyone else is piling onto the electric vehicle bandwagon, Honda's hitting the brakes on that idea and taking a detour. They're dodging the long charging weights, the battery trash pile up, and the hunt for rare metals from far off places. So, what's their plan? It's not electric, it's not your usual gas guzzler either. It's a clever middle ground powered by hydrogen, the lightest stuff in the universe. When you use it, all you get is water, no smog, no mess, just H2O. Honda's betting big that hydrogen could be the real game changer for clean cars. And here's the cool part, they're not new to this. They've been tinkering with hydrogen for a while now, and they're ready to roll. Back in 2015, Honda rolled out a car that felt like it zoomed straight out of a sci-fi movie. It wasn't your typical gas guzzler, and it didn't plug in like an electric car either. Meet the Honda Clarity Fuel Cell, a hydrogen-powered ride that debuted with a splash at the Tokyo Motor Show. It was Japan's first hydrogen car you could actually buy, and it didn't just look futuristic, it drove like it too. Honda didn't just slap a new engine into an old model, they built the Clarity from scratch to run on hydrogen. Inside, it had this cool wave flow tech that zipped hydrogen around faster, squeezing out more power without wasting a drop. The fuel cells were tiny, but mighty, packed in just the right spot, delivering more oomph than anything Honda had ever cooked up before. The payoff? A super clean car that could go the distance, up to 360 miles on a full tank. Back then, that beat most electric cars. It sipped fuel at an incredible 88 miles per gallon, and all it left behind was a puff of water vapor. Silent, smooth, and spacious, the clarity seemed like it had cracked the code for clean driving. But here's where the wheels fell off. Despite all its fancy tricks, the Clarity didn't take off like Honda hoped. The car itself was solid, but the world around it wasn't ready. Hydrogen stations were rare, unless you lived in California or a handful of spots in Japan, good luck finding a place to fill up. Road trips? Stressful. People don't buy cars that leave them stranded, wondering where the next tank is. Then, there was the vibe. Hydrogen sounded complicated, maybe even a little scary. Electric cars though? Simple, plug in, charge up, hit the road. 
EVs were the hot topic, with celebrities cruising in them, governments tossing out incentives and charging stations popping up everywhere, hydrogen cars like the Clarity, they didn't get the same love, no big tax breaks, no buzz, no easy test drives, unlike electric vehicles, hydrogen doesn't overload the power grid or need hours to charge, plus it skips those rare hard-to-get metals that batteries rely on, here's the coolest part, you can make hydrogen from water using sunlight or wind power, something called green hydrogen. Imagine that, running your car on just water and sunshine. No pollution, no grid stress, and no bulky batteries needed. Hydrogen isn't here to steal the spotlight from electric vehicles. It's carving its own path. It's perfect for things like long-haul trucks, city buses, or even powering remote areas where electric chargers just can't cut it. It's not about picking a winner. Hydrogen's doing what EVs can't. The world's catching on, and refueling stations are finally showing up. Honda's right on time with their CRV hydrogen SUV hitting the roads just as the infrastructure is ready to roll. The future isn't some far-off dream anymore, it's here, and the roads are open for business. But Honda's not stopping at fuel stations and eco-friendly vibes, they're dreaming way bigger, building engines for tomorrow. Behind the scenes, they're cooking up something incredible, stuff only Honda could pull off. Honda has always been the engine master. From zippy mopeds to roaring race cars, they've built engines that make hearts race. But with the world waving goodbye to gasoline, what does engine power even mean anymore? For Honda, it's all about hydrogen, and they're taking it to the next level. Instead of chasing batteries like everyone else, Honda asked a big question. How do we keep engines awesome and make them green? Their answer? Hydrogen fuel cells. These aren't your typical electric systems. They're quick, smooth, and feel like driving a classic car. Except they're super clean. No noise, no smoke, no gas, just water vapor and instant eco-friendly power. Honda isn't ditching engines, they're making them better than ever. They've teamed up with General Motors, blending Honda's engine genius with GM's electric know-how. Together, they're creating fuel cell systems that are smaller, faster, and way more efficient. It's a match made in car heaven, but wait, there's more. Honda's also part of a big Japanese crew with Toyota, Subaru, Mazda, and even Yamaha. They're working on super clean combustion engines that run on wild stuff like biofuels, hydrogen, and even ammonia. This isn't about replacing electric vehicles, it's about giving us more choices. These engines can power places where EVs or chargers just don't work, like remote areas or spots with shaky power grids. Honda's not just following the crowd, they're rewriting the rules of what a car can be. It's still all about performance, reliability, and that Honda vibe we love. But now, it's for a cleaner, brighter future. While other companies build brand new cars, Honda's reinventing the heart of the vehicle, the engine, and they're already sharing this bold vision with some of the world's top players. This is Honda's next chapter, and it's going to be a thrilling ride. Can Honda's hydrogen CRV outshine EVs? So here's the buzz. Is Honda's new hydrogen-powered CRV about to steal the spotlight from electric vehicles, EVs? First up, charging time. EVs can take anywhere from 30 minutes to hours to juice up depending on the charger. The CRV, it's ready to roll in just 3 to 5 minutes, about as fast as filling a gas tank. That's not just convenient, it's a total game changer. Then there's range. Most EVs give you 200 to 300 miles per charge. The hydrogen CRV goes further, hitting close to 400 miles on a full tank. For road trips or busy days, those extra miles mean fewer stops and less stress. Now, let's talk about being green. Electric vehicles produce zero emissions while driving, which is awesome, but the CRV goes even cleaner. Its fuel cell pumps out nothing but water vapor. No big batteries needed, and no worries about the environmental toll of making or tossing them. Honda's not trying to destroy EVs, but the CRV's speed, range, and eco edge make it a serious contender. Right now, electric vehicles, EVs, have more charging stations and most folks can plug in at home, but hydrogen stations are catching up fast in places like California, Japan, Germany, and China. Love this insight? Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives like this. Oh, and don't miss the next video. Click it now. Trust me, it's worth it.